Hey everyone, my name is Ru and we are here. This is going to be week number six of the UBL, the Ultimate Battle League, and we are going up against A Drive, the Minnesota Vika Vaults. And uh, this is pretty crazy. Um, I would have never imagined when I joined in season one that uh, we'd be here at this point, but here we are. And he has a really scary team, and one that uh, I'm not too, too sure how well I prepared for. I think. I have a little bit of answers. Okay, nowhere near the team that I expected. I even wrote down the team that I expected. I expected Altaria, Donphan, Rotom, Ninetales, Sandslash, and Manaphy. But we see the Manaphy, Ninetales, Rotom, Jirachi, Gengar, and Scrafty. So, that's interesting. I'm going to take a screenshot of the team. But again, nowhere near the team that I expected that he would bring. Um, This is pretty nuts. So, okay, I was honestly pretty proud of myself for the for the heat on my uh, Raichu set, but it was mainly for the Alolan Sandslash and maybe a couple of other situations, but against this team, I don't think it's going to be able to do much. This is so interesting. Um, I'm going to assume that the Gengar is Scarfed until I find out otherwise. Um, and I very nearly did not bring Meloetta. That would have been pretty darn wild. Um, I honestly just kind of want to lead off with the Raichu. But I also want to lead off with the Incineroar. I think, mm, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to lead off with the Raichu. Unfortunately, I did take off Volt Switch at... Pretty darn close to the last second, and my team in general does not have a whole lot of Volt Turn options, but uh, I think we can deal with it. He is a very scary team. I don't even know how to how to get around that. He has a very, very scary team, and I have to think, right? So, um, my Meloetta can still kind of just win. I'm, I have a Calm Minding Meloetta, and if I get a couple a couple, a couple Calm Minds, then I do have a genuine chance to win, I think. Leads off with a Jirachi. Could be a Rocks lead, but I did lead off with a Raichu. I wouldn't honestly mind just getting off a Nuzzle turn one. Actually, yeah, if I get off the Nuzzle and he goes for the Rocks, then I can Encore him. I can Encore him, yeah, whatever he wants to do. So let's see here. I'm just gonna click Nuzzle. I brought up Raichu on the on the damage count, but uh, I don't even know why, because I don't really even have damaging moves. I obviously have Nuzzle, but uh, it's not gonna be the biggest deal in the world. So right off the bat, he's not gonna be able to uh, parallel or try to flinch a whole lot of my team down. He does go into this thing, which is super interesting. I want to throw a Rotom Heat into the Calx now. I have no idea what kind of a set this Rotom is going to be. Uh, we should take an Overheat fine. And I kind of... Mm. Oh no, now we're not in range where we don't take an Overheat. If this is a max... If this is a max... Uh, attack Rotom, special attack Rotom, then it's a roll to take us out with overheat. Even with a max, well, not even max HP, but a whole bunch of HP. I'm honestly just gonna click Toxic. If all this Raichu does is get a. Oh, we miss a Toxic. That's pretty bad, but he toxics, toxics us back in return. What I would like to do. What I would like to do is click Wish, maybe? But missing Toxic is very not good. I'm gonna click Toxic. If he goes into the... He, does he go into the Jirachi? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I should have expected that. I knew as soon as I clicked Toxic that he would make some sort of play like that. But the only thing that I could have done other than that was click um, Wish or something like that. I don't know what I would want to go into here.
I do kind of want to go into... Hmm. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go into my... Mellow... Mellow, I don't know. Um... What's this thing called? My Lodic. Uh, for now, just get the Flame War popped early. Yeah, he's gonna U-turn. It's fine. He would have to slow U-turn no matter what. But, um... This will let me pop the Flame Orb, and it disincentivizes the Rotom to come in. If anything, it probably incentivizes Gengar to come in. Actually, no. Uh, um, Alola Ninetales would want to come in and click Freeze Dry against me, or just take the turn to um, want to set up an Aurora Veil. That's going to be this thing. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, this thing should have Toxic, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I threw on Toxic at the last second. Um, only because I fear him setting up right now. I'm gonna click it. He does just go for the Energy Ball. We are pretty darn specially defensive. We take that decently fine. Uh, we do get the Toxic off. And I should be in well in range where I could just click Recover. Uh, this is a very specially defensive. Even though I do have the Flame Orb, uh, I still do have a very specially defensive um, Milotic. Which, like I said, should be able to take an Energy Ball based on that damage it could be a roll it could absolutely be a roll but i feel like i have to click recover he could take this opportunity to tail globe which he does um i'm not too concerned though i'm not too concerned because i will get up to near full i will get up to near full and i feel like i would just want to switch into my scissor here This is absolutely a game that I can play for now. If he wants to call that and go for a Surf, I don't, I don't think he would want to do that. I don't think he would want to do that. But this thing is definitely scary. This thing is absolutely scary. Um, I don't have any great answers for it yet. I might... I might want to give up the Scizor for some Bullet Punch damage just to... Just to uh, get this thing a little bit lower. I would have to think about that. He's thinking about if he wants to surf, expecting me to switch in something. Perhaps my, my Tenora would want to come in. Maybe that would be reason enough to click surf right now. I guess we have to find out now. If he predicts that switch, then um, I'm not in a great position at all. But yeah, he does go for the energy ball. Cool, cool, cool. But now, would he think that I would want to double here into... This is, this is all 50-50s, right? Um, A-Drive and I are going to be playing 50-50s for a little while right now. We're going to be playing this game for a little while now. And I could absolutely just click U-Turn. He does see that I'm not Akaberry or whatever. He could be Hidden Power Fire for all I know. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. My... Scizor against the Manaphy. Tail Glow. Uh, Scald definitely threatens a KO. I'm gonna play this game. If he clicks Energy Ball again, then he just beat me. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. He played this 50-50 perfectly, and he called me on my nonsense. Okay, sorry about that. He's actually going for the Water Z. It could be Z Rain Dance to get his speed up now. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. I should have gone for the Bullet Punch. A couple of Bullet Punches plus some Toxic Damage would have done me pretty well in that situation, but... Oh, has the Hydration. Okay. I think I lose. I think I lose to this uh, to this Manaphy. I think I lose to this Manaphy. Straight up. Just straight up. I have to pick a sack now because uh, Scald in Rain is going to KO something right now. I might just get 6-0 to this Manaphy. 
thought. My sack might just have to be my scissor. I think I lose. I actually think that I lose. I think he has no reason not to click Scald right now. Does click Energy Ball though. And that does quite a bit of damage. That does quite a bit of damage. And like I said, I don't have really anything that I can do to this thing. You're a very thick man. <sighs> I'm gonna try to click Bullet Punch. He has no reason not to Scald anymore. Just goes for the Surf. You know, that's definitely gonna take me out. Um... I actually can't even go into Raichu anymore. I can't even go into Raichu anymore. That is... Mm. Meloetta takes hits. Maybe that means I Calm Mind? Maybe that means I click Calm Mind? Oh, and we're in rain. No, I have to click Calm Mind. I 100% have to click Calm Mind. Or no, not Calm Mind. Um, Hyper Voice. Just goes for the Surf. Oh, in rain. This actually threatens a KO. That was our last chance. Yeah, um... Yeah, I had very little chance to take that. I'm, I'm honestly just gonna tell him GG right now. I had nothing for this thing. I had absolutely nothing for this thing, ever, and this thing just beats me. I didn't prepare enough for the mana fee. If anything, I thought that um, that the Jirachi would be a little bit more likely. I did, mm, even then, I didn't think, I honestly didn't even consider the, uh, the Z Rain Dance set. That's gonna be it. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Um... What could I have done, right? I guess... I guess, theoretically... I don't know. What on my team should I have brought that I didn't bring? I guess Shaman? No, even though I, I just, even then I just get Ice Beamed. I didn't have anything on my team that could have dealt with this thing. <laughs> Uh, unless he misses the surf right now. Uh, I don't have anything right now. But, uh, I guess that's going to be week, week six. Um, we're going to drop to two and four. We're going to get, uh, six owed. And, uh, that was Manaphy, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more uh, weeks of the UBL. Uh, the MPL just ended. I will probably get that up. Uh, tomorrow and uh, more ICPA as well but that's I guess just going to be it for me 
we got god we got six owed and uh that's gonna be it thank you guys so much for watching once again out